a Saturn 1B rocket launched Apollo 7 into Earth orbit. Astronauts practiced rendezvous and simulated docking procedures as millions watched their live TV pictures of the Earth from orbit. Apollo 8, history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body. Apollo 9, the first docking of the command module with the lunar module. Apollo 10, the first rehearsal in the lunar environment. And then Apollo 11, July 20th, 1969. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The left foot beds are only uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. And I'll step off the limb. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. Four months later, a second trio of Americans arrived at the moon. Yankee Clipper, I'll turn on the tracking light for a minute and see if you see it. Okay, Houston, I, uh, I'm jiggling that this surveyor is firmly... They encountered Surveyor from an earlier mission. Okay, now we're ready to start getting a TV camera, okay? A big smile, okay. Next up, in April 1970, Apollo 13. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. Uh, you, can, you can always use them if you have to. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. At 141 hours, 30 minutes, ground the last time. Right by the high gate antenna, the whole panel was blown out, almost from the base to the engine. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. January 1971, Apollo 14, the first manned landing in and exploration of the lunar highlands. More firsts, Apollo 15, June 1971. 
The crew carried eight scientific experiments in a section of the command module. They also made good use of the lunar rover for the first time. Well, I see I'm going to have to keep my eye on the road. Boy, it's really rolling hills, Joe. Just like 14. Up and down we go. It feels like we need to see the Yeah, really do. March 1972, Apollo 16. The astronauts landed in the Descartes Highlands. They covered more than 16 miles in the lunar rover, collecting rock samples and setting up scientific instruments. Nine months later, Apollo 17, the last of the Apollo flights. Astronauts landed in the moon's Taurus mountain region. Using the lunar rover, they gathered 243 pounds of lunar samples. Apollo sent a dozen Americans to rove the surface of the moon and 15 others to fly into the grasp of its one-sixth gravity. They took the measure of the moon and in so doing took the measure of themselves and demonstrated the human potential. They brought back rocks, but as Mike Collins later told a joint session of Congress, it's a fair trade, for just as the Rosetta Stone revealed the language of ancient Egypt, so may these rocks unlock the mystery of the origin of the moon, and indeed even of our Earth and solar system.